Hello, all you amazing people out there in cyberspace. I'm your favorite YouTuber, Doodleman149, and today I'll be covering the best update to happen to Warzone yet. Ah, you know I'm just BSing all you guys. Season 2 still sucks. So today, in this video, I'm going to go over what exactly changed according to the patch notes and some other bullshit they tried to pull on us regarding Modern Warfare. If you couldn't tell already, this is going to be another angry rant video, so if you're looking for a more, more relaxed version of myself, my Dr. Jekyll to this hide, check out the video in the top right corner of your screen. There will also be a link down below in the description if you want to check out that video after this one. Hoo boy! Here we go as we get started with the patch notes. Let's start off easy with what is shown here. Apparently, there were subtitle issues for the new Cold War operators. Who gives a shit? Why play with the subtitles on? Can you not hear? Oh yeah, and fuck Cold War in case you forgot. A dev error was fixed on Xbox, so thank god for that. That shit was pissing me off because it would pop up every so often for a few weeks and I could not find a workaround. Says here that armor should now consistently spawn as ground loot. It took you fucking long enough. I can't tell you how many matches my buddy and I would load into where we'd find a ton of guns and ammo, but no cash or armor so we'd get melted in our first engagement. It also says items are now easier to pick up when too close to other objects, cause that's kinda funny, Freaky was just struggling with this yesterday trying to get an armor satchel. Here's something, Crack Division. Why not just make it so if you're full on something, like typically ammo, that's in front of another object, your pick up item action just immediately goes to something that you can actually pick up i.e. the satchels that are usually stuck behind mounds of ammo? Would that be so fucking hard? Fucking idiots. Apparently there was a glitch on Rebirth that got fixed. Wowzers, Crack Division! Think you could spare any of that anti-glitch, anti-cheat software to fix the regular fucking mode? Huh? Of course not. You can also double ping the map marker to mark danger. whoop de fucking do Says that the Cold War AUG, the bane of my existence, has had its base recoil increased. I've seen the recoil tests, it's barely worse, and if anything, it makes it so that aiming at someone's chest will just have two shots kick up to your headshots instead of just one like before. Great fucking job. There are also a few weapon nerfs not stated here. The FFAR has a slight ADS speed nerf added to its last magazine. Damn guys, you really went hard on the FFAR. Now it's completely useless. Jackasses didn't do shit to it. Also, the MAC-10 has a recoil nerf. See how it ever so slightly swings to the right more? Wow. And the last weapon change I've heard about was this nerf to the AK-74U's recoil. Like, look at this shit. See how well Crack Division knows gun mechanics and physics? Like, holy shit, how does any weapon have recoil like this? This is literally all human error in this. Picking up the AK-74U and firing half a clip Apparently temporarily cut your brain cells in half so that all you can do is pull left. I'm gonna make another rant video about these idiots not understanding guns. Ooh, I can feel it brewing. Moving on to attachment fixes, it says here that the suppressors now accurately show muzzle flash concealment as a pro in the gunsmith. Like, what the fuck? Was that necessary? Did we need to be explicitly told what everyone who plays this game already knows? Did we need to be told what everyone who knows anything about guns already knows? This is just further proof that Cold War is made by people who don't understand the content they work with, or how physics works. A Cold War specific barrel now has increased vehicle damage, like what the fuck ever. Apparently there was an issue mounting scoped weapons on walls? I never saw it, so whatever. They mention here that there's some animation fixes were done to ADS firing scoped weapons, like what do you mean? Do you mean the hideous bounce on the scope while the reticle doesn't even move? That nonsense? Unpopular opinion here, by the way. All the Cold War sites look like ass. Change my mind. And here we are in the download section, finally. All this, all this wonderful innovation and massive amount of changes to the game overall are 60 fucking gigs on Xbox. Why? What justifies that amount of data transfer? And oh boy, does this lead into what really pissed me off with this. The storage of modern warfare. As I loaded up the game after the download finished, I wanted to hop into some 6v6 multiplayer. However, upon reaching the loading screen, I got hit with a message about two-factor authentication for my Crack Division account. Bitch, is this a fucking bank? My account doesn't need to be that damn secure, shut the fuck up. 
I then got a message about making space so that the game wasn't so large. I quickly ignored that and tried to load into some 6v6, only to find I was missing data packs. Turns out, not only was I missing data packs, I was missing multiplayer pack 2 that I had previously installed, the campaign pack, all the spec ops packs, and the survival pack. Crack Division uninstalled most of Modern Warfare. What. The. Fuck. They literally, literally are deleting the game from our consoles. A game we fucking paid for in order to make space for their latest update. Fuck you. I have an external hard drive with plenty of space. Fuck you. I want to play Modern Warfare. And fuck you. You can't stop me from playing a game I already paid for without me breaking some kind of terms of service. You stupid fucking assholes. If it wasn't clear enough before, Crack Division is trying to bury Modern Warfare. They want it all to be a distant memory that doesn't exist, so all people can buy is old whore. No one wants old whore except the shills you pay to push your shitty ass game on YouTube and Twitch. Fuck you, corrupt assholes, and fuck those who are taking your money to lie for you. I will not forget Modern Warfare. I will not stop playing it, and this tactic has solidified that I will never, never buy another Call of Duty again. I may be just one person, but keep burning your fan base like this, and soon you won't have one. I can't even think of an outro for this, so I just said what I said. I meant every fucking word of it. Know that none of this anger is directed at you, dear viewer. It's directed towards the devil known as Crack Division. Fuck them, and join me in boycotting their next Call of Duty game. I wish you all the best. You've all been awesome. I've been your insane host, Doodleman149, and I will see you later.